Good morning. Today we're going to look at how you can create your very own content layouts using block patterns and Gutenberg. Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. So we woke up this morning and we have no water because there's a burst water pipe in our area and you can see it here on this. This is where I live in Cheltenham. So we've got no water, but uh, this leads nicely on to the plugin that I'm going to show you. It's a free block and that's really cool. And it's all about creating content layouts using the uh, Gutenberg editor. Now here's an example of it. Uh, rather, this is the plugin templates and I will put a link below to this plugin. But the whole idea behind is it is it, it is, that you go to your site, you click on the plus sign, you go to patterns, and then within patterns you go to templates, and then you can basically bring in the template that you've created. So this is great if you've got uh, teams of people working for you, or you wanna create set templates uh, that you then or import as a block pattern and then edit. So they're a bit like reusable blocks, but the big benefit these have over reusable blocks is that if you edit them, they don't edit them everywhere because reusable blocks can get quite complicated in understanding what you're editing at the source. These are, you hit them one time and you just fill out the information and then you publish them. So this is, how, I'm gonna show you next how it works. So what's cute about this plugin is that it actually uses custom post types to create your block patterns because block patterns are still quite complex to create and import into your sites to be used. It gets, the plugin gets around this by creating essentially post, um, custom post templates. So you install the plugin and you'll have a new menu on the left that says templates, um, which is kind of how we say templates if you're very posh in England. Um, so, and then I'm going to add a new one. You see this is my water outage one that I've already created. I'm going to go add pattern and that will just load up Gutenberg. And then this is where you create your, um, let's call this Gauss outage. This is where you create your pat your um, your template essentially. Now I'm just copying and pasting the stuff from the previous one, and I've popped it in here. And you can, but you can lay this out however you like. So you know, let me just put some text in, and then you just publish it. Simple as that. And that just by doing that, that automatically creates a block pattern, which is now accessible from your editor. So if I go to Pages Add New now, okay and click on the plus sign and then go to patterns and then go to templates uh, you'll see there's my new gas outage one there you just click on that and then that just loads in that template and then your editors or your contributors can just author that straight away so that's that's a look at the plugin it's really really simple to use uh, i think it's an interesting one as well because it's it's taking us a step in terms of how we can create these block patterns more easily so i hope you enjoyed that I hope you find that useful in some way if you did if you can hit the like button, that'd be great. And if you want to see more Gutenberg tutorials, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.